Uh, I wanted to quickly show you uh, a problem I had doing some fourth axis work uh, at my job uh, in which I needed to drill some holes, um, just some spot drills on the fourth axis. So once this badge that we have for this, uh, the electric scooter we're building, uh, once that's bent around the tube, we would need to know where those holes go for the rivets. So uh, I'm going to go through the steps of how I calculated where to drill these and then um, just do a quick time lapse of me drilling those and showing you the finished product. So uh, let's start by jumping into Fusion. Now, originally thought that all I'd have to do is extrude the sketch um, from this object and that would give me my hole pattern. Uh, it doesn't seem to work like that though and I'll show you why. So let me turn the original badge off and I have my sketch for it here. So if I do an extrude and choose the object as my direction, uh, my start direction, and extrude it up the length of it which is pretty thin. I don't remember now. It's about 1.2 millimeters thin. So if we look at these holes, they're not actually round holes. If you look at it from the top, they are. Now the problem is, if I extruded these down into the head tube, they are going to be perpendicular to the top, and I need them to be perpendicular to the angle that they need to be drilled, so the rivet that we're using can go in perpendicular to that hole. So here is the way to do it. And it took me quite a while to figure out with a lot of maths, but here, what we're going to do is first start with a construction plane at the very end of this. And I am going to move this the distance that I want the badge to be uh, from the bottom of the head tube, plus the uh, radius of that hole. Uh, seven millimeters plus, um, let's see, it's a 2.31 millimeter hole divided by two. And that's where we want the first set of holes to be. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Um, I know the arc length of the badge, because if we look at it flat, the distance from the center of the hole to the center of the hole should stay the same when we bend it around the tube, but I don't know what that works out to. Uh, I need to calculate the center angle to figure that out, which is what I do not know. So what we can do is go into uh, create a sketch, and we are going to draw a circle, the diameter of our tube here, uh, which is 60.1 and is do some maths and rather than bore you with the complicated math that goes into it there is a website where you can this omni calculator where you can type in um, the information that you have uh, to figure out the unknown information so I know my diameter is 60.1 and I know my arc length is 50.8 so that gives me my center angle of 96.8594 degrees. So I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to draw a center line here just uh, to help me out and make that a construction line. Now draw a line out just anywhere out in space and do the same over here. Now we can dimension this and choose this first line and then that construction plane and that will let us put in an angle. So we want to go ahead and take that, paste that angle that we had from before and divide it by two because it's half. And now we have uh, 80, sorry, 48.4 degrees. So we can dimension the other side now and do the same thing. And now we can just trim off this excess over here and over here go to sketch and create some points right on that line where they intersect and now that gives us where we want to drill our first set of holes now to do the next set of holes we know the distance between these two uh, which if I have it written down it is uh, 38.1 so we'll do an offset plane from that first offset plane that we did and we'll move that to 
Now we can go ahead and create a new sketch on that offset plane. And all we have to do is project our geometry by hitting P. And just make sure I get all those points there. And once we exit out of that sketch, we should be able to see that our holes are going to be um, where we need them to be. And we will use these points in our cam operations to uh, set that drilling on the fourth axis. So let's jump into that real quick. So now that we're in cam, uh, we can create a new setup. And our stock is, we're going to do a from solid, and that'll just pull in the dimensions uh, from this object that we already created. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky with uh, work coordinate offsets, and uh, what we're going to do is select a Z axis. That's going to be our up and down. So we select this as our Z, and our X is going to be the body itself. And we want to make sure our origin point. And now we'll create a drilling operation. And we're going to use the center drill for this, um, just because we only need a little divot for these rivets that we're using. And now for hole mode, we change this to selected points. And we're going to choose that point and that point. And for our height, we're going to do hole top and negative 2 millimeters. So now that we have that drilling operation, um, if we were to duplicate this and choose these holes over here, the Z is going to stay in the direction that we have set up in the original setup for this. So that's not going to drill it correctly. We need it to drill perpendicular to this angle that we created. So we want to go to Tool Orientation. And I already had this set up, but I'll walk through here real quick. So we're going to do Select Z Axis, and we're going to choose this other angle as our Z, and we're going to keep the uh, this face here as the x-axis and then for stock box point we just want to click that one right at the end which uh, lines up with that point that we have out there. So now after we run our simulation we can see uh, it's going to drill the holes in the spots that we want. So uh, thank you for watching and if you liked it uh, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, try to post interesting information um, so if you have any questions or anything about Fusion and uh, need any help, let me know. I'm willing to help out. So um, enjoy the footage, and uh, thanks for watching.